So technically you're not allowed to film in here or take photos, but oh well. It shows you forms of cranial deformation in the area of the Inca world. And these are supposedly the ways that the deformation was done. However, this one, for example, is from Paracas on the coast of Peru. And try as they might to uh, attempt to state that all examples of this are the result of cranial deformation. There are examples that look natural, as in as if they actually were born and grew this way. Um, unfortunately, again, the light is terrible in here, but uh, hopefully you'll get at least a glimmer of what these look like. So this one has only two cranial plates. It has a frontal and a par parietal plate. This is more like what you and I have. Three cranial plates, frontal and two parietals. This one again has only two. It's possible that the parietal plates have been fused over time. This one has four. Now what they also have in this little tiny museum is they have mummies. The mummies also were excavated here in Cusco near the Coricancha. And again, sorry about the lighting, nothing I can do about it. This is a full mummy uh, with an elongated head. Can't tell how large the person is or was, but could very well have been a reasonably tall person. And then over in here, we have another elongated skull. A lot of the museums in Peru, or many of them, uh, are prohibiting photography uh, inside and often of the elongated skulls. I don't know why, but we do have to be stealthful in order to uh, get images and video because people like you want to know, as do I, the truth about who these elongated skull people 